Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an Amazon haul before I get started. I do want to tell you, you hear that? That's my son right there. And that is what I was going to tell you about. Just had to yell at him. It is the second week of summer and my children are home for the summer. So if you see little bodies walk by right there, um, just know those are my kids. That's the foyer. Right behind this wall is the living room and they like to hang out in the living room sometimes. So especially my son, He's there right now. So if you hear voices or if you see little figures walk by, just know that those are my kids, you know. Um, what do you do? It's the summer and I'm not gonna lock them in their rooms. So um, I apologize in advance if that annoys anybody, but yeah, those are my kids. So today is going to be an Amazon haul. And just so you know, this is not a sponsored video. I don't even know if Amazon sponsors videos, but I purchased everything myself and nobody is paying me back for them. And as most of you know, I'm a bargain shopper, whether I'm shopping online or whether I'm shopping in the store, I just don't feel like it's necessary to, you know, overspend, especially on things that are kind of, you know, on trend at the moment, because those things are going to be out of style, you know, in six months to a year. So I'm not going to overspend. Now, if I'm going to buy some staple pieces or something like that, I might spend a little bit more money. But um, but everything that you're going to see today is very reasonably priced. Now, I'm going to conduct this haul a little bit differently than I have in the past because in the past, I was just kind of showing you ideas and stuff. Most of... There's my son. Somebody left a message once saying, um, it sounds like there's a dying cat in the background. And I was like, oh no, that's my son. Because he's really, really loud. He's just very vocal. He has autism and um, so he gets excited, you know, a lot. And the way that he shows his excitement or if he's, you know, just happy in general, he makes a lot of noise. And so um, those are good sounds to me, but um, it's not a dying cat. I just want you to know. So anyway. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with this cute little top right here. Um, this is such a unique top. I love tops that have a lot of character like this. It just has all these cutouts. One thing I like about it is that you can wear a bra with it. Um, I don't like tops that are that have so much character and then you can't wear a bra. I don't know why. I just want to always be able to wear a bra if I want to. Okay, so here is the rest of the outfit. Now I've got this really cute belt and I love this belt. It just has two circles. And it looks like they're overlapping, but it's just, it's one big piece. <laughs> but anyway, it looks kind of brass. And then it just buckles like this. So it's got this little piece and you just kind of stick it into the hole, you know, and I love that. Anyway, I do want to mention, I do have it on the very last hole. And I did get the smallest belt. Um, it starts at a 26 and I don't know what it goes up to. But anyway, it is quite long. So I've got a little DIY going on right here. I've got this little clear rubber band. And that just helps to keep you know, your belt laid down nicely and hopefully nobody sees it. So. so then I have these white pants on and I want to say on the website, they call them jeggings, but they have working pockets. They have five pockets and they're pretty thick. I would never consider them jeggings. You can't see through them at all. Now, if I had my shirt tucked down really long, then you might be able to see the line, but you can't see underwear or anything through the pants, they're a pretty thick material, so I just really love them. Now I do want to say that these are size 26 and they fit me perfectly everywhere except for the waist. There's quite a bit of a gap here, even though I've washed them and dried them twice to try to see if I could get some shrink, you know, shrinkage out of them, but it didn't really work. So anyway, I will have to definitely wear these pants with a belt, but that's okay, I don't mind. And should I gain any weight, then you know, I'll have some white pants to go to. I think I have like 10 pair of white pants. I'm not even kidding. I buy so many pairs of white pants. So anyway, then I have these cute shoes. You guys have seen them. I showed them in my Amazon haul shoe video. Those are what I decided to pair this outfit with. And so, there you have it. Okay, so this is another cute little top that I got off Amazon, and it's one of these like high-low tops and um, it actually, if I untuck it, it just looks like that. And I love these tops because you can wear them with just straight up leggings because they just cover everything, you know? And they cover, you know, the parts that we kind of want to camouflage a little bit whenever we're wearing leggings. So anyway, um, but I typically like to wear it like this, just kind of tucked like that. And they did have this top in a bunch of different colors. I'm actually going to order a few more because I really, really love this look for summer. It's very casual, you know, obviously I've got it on with heels so it, you know, brings it up a notch. But um, I like whenever you can wear something flowy on top and then tighter on the bottom or vice versa. However, sometimes I just go fitted all the way, you know, from top to bottom. Now this necklace, actually, I picked it up in store at Walmart, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to link it for you. It's just a cute little, I think it's a perfect t-shirt necklace. 
The belt, TJ Maxx, so I'm not gonna be able to link that. It just has like, looks like two buckles, but it's just this one, and then this is just kind of there for looks. But it's really cute. Anyway, then you guys have seen these shoes before. Um, I showed them in my Amazon haul. I feel like this purple top just really brings out the shoes. So cute. These are the same pants that I was just wearing um, with my last outfit. I only bought two pair of pants on Amazon, a black pair and a white pair. I might put on another white pair of pants that I have with some other outfits just because um, I don't have to wear a belt with them. So anyway, now I do want to show you this shirt because when I first took it out of the bag, I was like, is this homemade? <laughs> it almost has like a homemade look to it. But once I put it on, I was just like, I'm totally keeping it. I love it. Now I do want to say it's made out of 100% polyester. It's kind of a thicker polyester too. So it, it kind of has a, I don't know what that feel is. Like you almost feel like if you scratch it, it'll make noise, but it's not quite like that. This right here is just one of my favorite style of tops. Whenever the sleeves like attach under the arm like that, and they just look like they're, um, I don't know, free floating sleeves or something like that. I just really love that look. Now I do want to say these are quite tight and I've got pretty small arms, so they might leave some marks, but um, I don't care, you know, beauty is pain, right? <laughs> okay, so this is what this top looks like from a distance. I wanna say I paid $14.99 for it, it's so, so cute. It's a little bit lower in the back, but not too low, and like I said, I just love this style. Now I have it paired with um, these pants. I actually picked these up in store at Walmart. Right now, they are currently my absolute favorite pair of white pants. They're very high-waisted, they, I do not need a belt with them at all. I love where the pockets sit because I feel like they're super, super flattering. And these are more jeggings for sure. These pockets are not, you know, usable pockets. Um, the back ones are. But anyway, I just love the fit. I think they're gorgeous. And um, I think I paid $20 for them. Now, again, I just have them paired with these cute, just really colorful, beautiful, sexy shoes i just love these shoes and i did pick these up from amazon and they do not actually have a lot of green in them but when i first saw them the first thing that i thought was i want to wear it with something green and so i actually purchased this top specifically to go with these shoes and i do feel like it brings out a little bit of green that there is anyway i just love this outfit this is so cute okay so this is another top that i picked up off of amazon and this top is so cute and so versatile i'm going to show you what i mean by that first of all it's very long there were some girls that were just wearing it as a dress, which I mean, that is an awfully short dress and it barely, you know, covers your butt. But I wanna show you how versatile this is because you can either wear it like this or you can wear it like this where it's just one shoulder and it doesn't look awkward at all, even though, you know, you could put your arm through there. So this is what it looks like when it's just one shoulder and I think that looks so cute too. And then you can also just wear it totally strapless like this and it's still a very good fit. It doesn't feel like it's just gonna fall off or anything like that. So I just think this is such a cute and unique little top. Now when you wear it strapless, this part does kind of hang down kind of low, but I don't think it looks you know, awkward, especially when it's untucked like this. Now if it were tucked in, it might look a little funny that it's so much lower in the back, but you know, the high-low thing is kind of in style, so maybe not. Anyway, the material is very light. It's very comfortable. I mean, this is just such a cute look. Now I do have this top paired with the same Walmart pants that I just showed you. Um, in my last outfit. And then I have these Steve Madden red shoes. And I think they're so cute. They match perfectly. Um, but these I did get on Amazon. However, I bought them over a year ago. I'm gonna see if I can find a link, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to. Anyway, I just thought it went really, really well together. So I thought I'd show you those too. Now, if I were gonna tuck it in, it would look like this. However, I do not have it tucked in right now. I just have it all bunched up right here. But this is what it would look like if I tucked it in. Okay, so this is another little flowy top that I got off of Amazon, and I feel like these floral prints are really on trend right now, and I really, really like this. Um, it is not high-low. It's kind of the same length all the way around. Anyway, I really love this style, and I love how high the neckline goes. It also has some pleats right here, so if you're small-chested, I feel like you'd really love this top because I feel like it gives you um, some volume, you know, in the chest area. And so anyways, it's really nice. And I just feel like this is such a feminine, really pretty pattern. So you can wear it like this, or of course, you know, you could do the little front tuck like that. Either way, if you wanna wear a belt or not. So it's just a really nice, I, I just love how flowy it is. I love these flowy little tops. Then I have it paired with um, these wedges. You have seen them in my Amazon haul and probably even before that, because I've had them for a while. 
They zip up the back, which I really like, so you never have to unbuckle them. These have just become a pair of shoes that I wear so, so often. I wear them to the grocery store, to my children's school when they were still in school. And they're just my favorite little wedges. They're not high, so they're super easy to walk in, and I just find them to be very, very comfortable. And these are just the same pants that I wore in the last outfit and the one before, so anyway. All right, so I am pulling out all the bright colors, aren't I? I'm trying to get out of a rut because I'm always like reaching for mainly grays, and so I'm trying to get out of that rut. So anyway, I saw this on Amazon, and they had it in so many different colors, but I decided to choose this really, really bright, beautiful color, and it's super, super cute. It's got so many cute features. It's got this bow in the back. Um, don't judge my bow because I don't know how well I tied it. It also has this scrunching on the side, which I just think is such a cute little feature as well. And, um, and then, of course, it's got, you know, the shoulder cutouts. And, you know, I just think that's cute. Now, whenever I saw it on Amazon, I did see a lot of women just wearing it just like this. But then I saw um, some pictures. I think it was just, you know, the advertising pictures. But they were wearing this as just kind of like a cover-up to the beach with shorts, and then you could see their bathing suit straps and stuff, and I thought that was so cute. It definitely has the feel of like, um, almost like bathing suit material. Like, it, you could tell it will dry like that, you know? So anyway, I just think this is such a cute top. It's so bright. It definitely screams summer. I have it just paired with um, this jewelry. Again, all this jewelry, the earrings, the necklace, the bracelet, it all came from Walmart. Whenever I just run in there to like pick up detergent or something like that, I always just like swing by the jewelry department. And I always end up picking up something that I like. Um, and then of course, I'm just wearing the same jeggings that I wore with the last couple outfits and the same little wedges, so. Okay, so I am wearing all black. I don't typically wear all black. I am gonna show you what this looks like, what this top looks like with some white pants, but I just wanted to show you these black pants real fast because they're considered like trouser jeggings, and I've never heard of that before, but they do have these pockets right here, and they have this little piping that goes down um, all the way to the ankles, and I think it just looks really nice. They're just really nice looking pants, and they're really flattering. They are high-waisted, so they go way up to here like this. And this top, I would not consider it a cropped top, but if you're going to wear mid-rise jeans, then I think it would come right to the very top of your mid-rise jean. And um, anyway, like I said, I'm going, to, I'm going to put on some white pants real fast because I want you to see what it looks like with the contrast. But then I did pick up these shoes on Amazon, and you guys probably saw them in my Amazon shoe haul, and yeah, they're very, very cute. Okay, so now I have it on with the same white pants that I showed in the last like three or four outfits. So as you can see, this is how, you know, short the top is. So it's not too short and it can definitely be tucked in. Anyway, I just really love the way that this top looks with white pants because it just really, you know, brings out the white border or whatever you want to call it. And so anyway, this is what it looks like. Okay, so can we talk about how gorgeous this dress is right here? This is such a beautiful dress. I think it's so feminine and I just love the color. Right when I saw it, I thought about these shoes right here that I decided to pair it with. And um, I just love this dress. It seems like it's just very, very well made. It has this um, zip that goes all the way up the back and it's very, very snug. I feel like I'm really packed in there. <laughs> Anyways, I like to wear it a little bit more kind of ruched right there, if that's the right word, I don't know, because, I don't know, it's not very forgiving. So, you don't want to eat a huge meal and then put it on because you will look like you have a food baby because I just ate some lunch and I feel like I have a little bit of a food baby there. Anyway, like I said, it's very snug. It definitely has some give to it, um, but don't expect to be able to take long strides or, you know, run in it or anything like that. Because this is about how far it stretches. Um, which is enough to take, you know, decent sized steps, but it's very form-fitting. It's got very thick material, so you definitely do not need to wear like a slip or anything with it. So anyway, this is what it looks like. Okay, so this is the last little outfit that I'm going to show you. And I love this for so many reasons. However, um, I'm not completely confident and feel totally comfortable in it because I don't feel comfortable showing this much of my legs. And this is actually shorts, by the way. But, um... And the reason being is because I have a bad knee over here. I had one for like 20 years. I had a snow skiing accident over 20 years ago. And I recently, about two years ago, had surgery on it. So this leg is quite a bit weaker than this one. And you can actually see it when you're looking at my legs. 
This one just looks a lot more toned and stronger and younger, and this one looks very untoned. And I've been working on it for two years, but it takes a long time to build muscle when you've been overcompensating for 20 years with the other leg, so. So anyway, um, not only is this leg weaker, I feel like my knee looks different than this one, so. Anyway, anyway, if you can overlook that, this is such a cute little romper. Now, you have to be careful whenever you knot this, because sometimes these little tassels want to hang down, but, um, so it does open up like this, and I actually think it would look so cute if it was just sewn right there and then and if those just hung down like that. I think that that looks really cute, doesn't it? So anyway, now it does also come with these like clear straps right here. And so also if it blows open, you know, you're just going to have shorts there. So it's not that big of a deal. And this is what it looks like from behind. You know, it's not like totally flattering on your butt or anything like that, but not everything has to be, right? And then I have it paired with these um, little wedges that I showed you on my Amazon shoe haul. And they have like an espadrille wedge, and then they have this little knot, which I think goes perfectly with this, so. So I'm pretty sure that this is made out of linen. It feels like linen. Um, next time, I actually washed and dried it, but I think next time I'm just gonna lay it out to dry or hang it out to dry, and then maybe iron it, because I think I'm gonna get a little bit more length out of it, and, uh, and then I'll feel a little bit more, you know, confident wearing it, so. Anyway, so this is what it looks like. Very cute and feminine. I have a feeling that my daughter is gonna get a little bit more use out of this than I am. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm going to end this video with this romper right here because I did not realize that I had made so many purchases, apparently. I still have quite a bit more to show you, but I feel like this video has gotten a little bit too long already. So I'm going to save those for another upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I'm going to put links to everything that I showed, um, hopefully in the order that I showed them in my description box, so long as they have links. I think there's only a couple things that I'm not gonna be able to provide links for. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite look or favorite item was, and um, I look forward to reading your comments as always. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time and I will see you next week.